hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today i gave an online assessment in hacker rank for paypal so this role was for senior java engineer and they were expecting experience up to five years but i since i got the mail and i have an experience of four years four months i decided to give it a try and just give the assignment and see what happens next so uh in just that hope i gave the online assessment to see what questions are being asked and if i am able to solve it or not so in this video i will be telling you about that uh, how long it was what questions were asked so that if you are also uh, going to give the same assessment you can prepare on it beforehand and then give it okay so there were four mcq questions and one uh, library management system question in which we had to code uh, extensively so and the interview uh, not the interview the online assessment round lasted for one hour 60 minutes okay so first question was uh, one second just i had made a note of them so i'll just go through it uh, so first question was on Spring Boot. It was MCQ question. Some Spring Boot code was given to me and they were asking what would be the output. Okay. So in this, uh, you just have to go through the code and see what would be the best output. And in this, uh, there were like one service, uh, one service class was there, one main class was there, and uh, then there was a worker class. So it was calling the service class, and there was some system dot out dot print and lines were there. So you had to just go through the flow of code and uh, tell what is the output. Okay. So next question. Next question was about 401 error. So the question was asking that, uh, like it was a one or more options can be correct type of question. And in that it was asking that if you get a 401 uh, response status, uh, uh, what cases, under what cases can you get 401 error basically? And there were four options out of them, uh, two were correct. Uh, so 401 is basically authentication error. So when you give wrong credentials or your credentials have expired that time, uh, you get 401. Okay. Next question was uh, nodes in a binary tree. So if you are given a full binary tree, uh, so full binary tree means every node will have two children. So it was asking how many leaf nodes will it have? So this is also standard binary tree question. If you know about binary tree or trees, you have studied about it, you should know. The answer for this is n plus one. Okay, so these were all the MCQ questions. Uh, one, two, three, four, I think. I'll just one second. Yeah, one more question was there about cash. So that question was um, an API uses the following header for caching. So an API is using this, some header was given for caching. So which of the following statements is that true about the, there was this uh, parameter x max age in the uh, header for caching and they were asking what which of the following is correct for that so there were four options given for that and s max age is uh, used for like uh, sp specific time so the client should use the cached response for the specified time in x max age for shared cash caches okay i was not aware of this but yeah i have done chat gpt later on to see what was the answer for this uh but yeah i selected some option i don't know which one <laughs> and the coding one was too long uh, i was coding it but i couldn't complete it in time and then i had almost coded it but still i was getting few errors which i don't know why they were coming because 
it was not making sense and i was trying to debug it and then just time got over so i saved that code i don't know if it will accept it or not because i was not able to pass any of the test cases which were there for that so i don't think i will be clearing this round but just made this video to help you guys and make you aware of what type of questions you can expect in this online assessment for paypal and location was mentioned as chennai but i'm based in bangalore so yeah i don't know if they, if i would have gotten it i would have considered but yeah let's see so the library management uh, system in which we had to code so we uh, we were given two classes which we had to implement from two interfaces which were given already so there were two interfaces given in which uh, some uh, methods were defined we had to implement them in our classes and give the full definition uh, So there were two book interfaces and then we had to implement a class called book. So and there were some uh, uh, what are these called data members uh, mentioned of what type and you have to create those like ID, author, title, price, all that for a book and then create its uh, constructor, then getters and setters we had to write. Those were already given in the interface. Like get ID, get name, all that, getter and setter. And then same same for another class. In that class, more logic was required. The first class was pretty basic, just getter and setter and their uh, data members. The other class was calculating uh, many of the things like uh, you had maps and all. So that took a lot of time to code. And then in that only I was getting few errors, which I was not able to solve and then time ran out. So yeah, mm, that was it. Uh, no DSC questions were asked, but in this only you had to implement some knowledge of DSA because you need, you had to create maps uh, and uh, yeah, mostly hash maps. But yeah, those were also like uh, complex ones. So okay, I think that is it for this video. Mm, I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you have any doubts or any questions uh, regarding any of my videos which I've uploaded earlier as well and I'll reach back to you.